Thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you Jay. Are you a dealer for these? Uh, yep, we're yeah. a Maserati, Porsche, Land Rover, oh, okay. um, Jaguar, and uh, Mercedes-Benz dealer. Yeah, I've got a 62, uh, 3500 GT. Okay. Yeah, the new ones are nice. Yeah, they're, it's pretty incredible. You know, it's a, I don't know, the fit and finish feels you know, fantastic. Yeah, they finally got the Italian thing going properly, not like the old days. What's your uh, daily driver that you normally, you know, I don't really have day. a daily driver. I just kind of swap off a little bit. I, you know, I have two cars I use all the time. I use my Model T to get around town because... It's going to be a great sight. Well, it's unbreakable, you know, and you never really go much of a 45 in town anyway. And you can park it anywhere. Nobody can steal it. Because <laughs> you, you have to crank and, it up. Yeah, and if you... Well, no, they had electric starters. And if you, uh, you know, if you crumple a fender, it's 175 bucks for a fender painted. No kidding. Yeah, I mean, there's still a million T's on the road, so they're kind of fun and they're a conversation piece. And, like today, I drove my McLaren 12C. That's a great car. You've got a P1 on order too, correct? Yeah, yeah, right. right. That's pretty exciting. Jeez, that's an incredible car. Um, you know, I've got a Carrera GT. Yeah, incredible car. I, I like that because it's the last manual transmission supercar probably mm -hmm. produced in Europe, where the transmission was made specifically for the car. You know. Yep. Um, now everything is. I mean, I like the, the little clutch gear boxes. They're nice, but. Yeah. Have you driven a 918? Um, I have not. I was in one in Detroit um, here about a month and a half ago. Okay. Um, one of our customers has one on order that okay. should show up here in the next couple of months. But, oh, it's uh, incredible. What's um? What was actually the first car you bought? I know you've probably been asked that a million times. The first car I bought? You mean when I was a kid? Yeah, like your first car that you oh, just bought for yourself. Oh, pickup truck, yeah. Okay. But then I was 14 and then worked on it for a couple of years until I got my license. So. Okay, gotcha. So that was fun. Start off with a project car. Well, yeah, that's kind of what it, I mean, that's what you sort of did back then. You know, in the old days, dads are pretty handy with cars. This just had to be. Yeah. And nowadays, most, you know, kids that work for me, interns, their dads don't know, don't know how to change a tire. So they consequently don't know how to change a tire. So you kind of have to go back to square one all the time. I had a, uh, actually, uh, reckoning my, my girlfriend's, uh, uncle is like the gatekeeper in their family and does the gauntlet and everything and he actually made me change the brakes on his Range Rover as oh, well, like an know. acceptance. Well that's very good. That yeah. like, sounds like he and I would hit it off just fine. He uh and like there was there was one lug nut that was like over torqued on it and he had me specifically go through them and tighten them and figure out right. which one was and right, pass the test and it was. Oh, that's but, good. But, and he torque wrenches his lug nuts. That's excellent. Yeah. Yeah. So um, your collection, uh, you're, we're auctioning off a tour right, of the right, collection. Yeah, sure, sure. How many cars are in the collection? Uh, about 123, something like that. And about 90 motorcycles. How long did you, uh, when did you really start collecting and you know, adding to I never a, really thought of it as collecting because they're all registered. Yep, they're all driving. And driving. I just like projects and it's fun to work on mm -hmm. stuff. And I mean, there's some exotic cars there, but there's some ordinary cars that are fun. I like Corvairs, I like Mustangs. Mm -hmm. Love Corvairs, actually, fantastic car. Um, it's just any car that was quirky or ahead of its time, in its time, that's that's what I tend to like. Oddball stuff. What's uh, your most recent acquisition of something that you're, you're working on or you have a project planned for? You know, I bought a uh, Mercedes 600, okay. 72 the most complex. Is that the grosser or? The grosser, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. That's gotta be. Hydraulically operated windows and seats and trunk lid. Um, it's, I mean, <laughs> the trunk lid was broken and it was three days. Oh my gosh. And the trunk lid has little, the trunk lock has pistons with piston rings on it that move back and forward and lock. I mean, it's, it's the most complex. I used to work in a Mercedes dealer when I was a kid, so okay. I had to deliver them, and it was like, I thought it was the greatest car ever. It's just unbelievable. It had everything. And hydraulic, so the windows go <laughs> You know, back then, electric motors were too big, too clunky to yeah. fit in most doors. So consequently, you had uh, you had big, wide doors. Mercedes wanted to have a thin door, yeah. so they ran hydraulic lines through everything. And But there's no sound. You touch it, the window goes <laughs> I mean, it's incredible for the time, even yeah, or even but now. Yeah, it's, it's so, it's a nightmare to work on. It's just, it's, just, it's, it's so complex. How hard is it to get parts for that car? Um, 
each window switch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eleven thousand five hundred. No. Yeah. That's incredible. So you have to rebuild them. So you kind of have to do all that. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, the hydraulic cylinder that opens and closes the trunk, twenty-two thousand dollars. I mean, it's everything costs money. Yeah. I mean, it's just it was the only car Mercedes ever built that was a money no object car. Like every world leader had that car that didn't have their own domestic production. Every dictator. Yeah, had that <laughs> Saddam car. Hussein had one. I would. Yes, yeah, Hussein had one. Ceausescu. I mean, all the crazy. Oh, are we here already? Yep. Oh, cool. We are here. So, appreciate all the time oh, and answering you. some of the questions. Most sure, of those thanks. came from our Facebook fans. And thanks. Thanks. I'll walk up with.